Here we'll make equivalent fractions with sums of fractions with like denominators. Here I have a number line. I'm going to label the endpoints 0 and 1. In between my two endpoints, I'm going to go ahead and divide it into thirds. So I have one third and two thirds. Let me show the addition sentence one third plus one third equaling. So I start at zero and I add a third, add another third, and I see that one third plus one third is equal to two thirds. I'm also going to express that as a multiplication sentence, where it's 2 times 1 third equals 2 thirds. Here's another number line. I'm going to label the endpoints 0 and 1. And I'm going to divide this number line into force. And then let me label it 0. 1 fourth, 2 fourths, and 3 fourths. Let me show you the sum of 1 fourth plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth. Go 0 to 1 fourth, plus another fourth, plus another fourth, you get 3 fourths. We can also show that as multiplication sentence, 1, 2, 3 times a fourth, 3 times a fourth equaling 3 fourths. There's another number line. In between 0 and 1, we can divide this one into eighths. I went halves first, and then to force, and then if I divide it again, I'll get into eighths. And then I can label it. Let's label it for what we're adding. Here we're going to be adding three eighths plus three eighths plus one eighth. First we have three eighths. Zero, one, two, and three. Draw the arrow to 3 eighths. And then we're adding another 3 eighths. So that we get to 6 eighths. And then we add another eighth. So we get to 7 eighths. So 3 eighths plus 3 eighths plus 1 eighth is equal to 7 eighths. That's the same as showing 2 times 3 eighths. We have 2 3 eighths plus one eighth. That also equals seven eighths. Can, can we draw a number line for six halves? Six halves is equal to two halves plus two halves plus two halves. Or you can rewrite that as three times two halves. So let's draw a number line for that. This time we draw the number line where we start off at zero halves. And then we have one half, two halves, four halves, six halves, zero halves is equal to zero, two halves is equal to one, four halves is equal to two, and six halves is equal to three. And then we'll draw our arrows. Two halves, plus another two halves, plus another two halves. So this equals three. Three times two halves does equal three. Look at another problem. Eight fifths. Eight fifths is equal to how many fifths? Is one whole is equal to how many fifths? Right, five fifths. So you can de decompose and break apart eight fifths into five fifths plus three fifths. Let's draw that. 
here's 0, here's 1, and then here's fifths. 1, 2, 3, 4 fifths. So 1 is equal to 5 fifths. So let's go to 5 fifths first. And then for 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, another 3 fifths. 1, 2, 3 fifths. So that equals 8 fifths. So 5 fifths plus 3 fifths does equal 8 fifths. That also equals 1 whole and 3 fifths. Can you rewrite 7 thirds as a whole and a fractional part? Here's 0, here's 1, here's 2. 1 is also equal to 3 thirds. 2 is equal to 6 thirds. And it's not as high as 3. So 3 thirds, another 3 thirds, and then 1 third. So 7 thirds is equal to 3 thirds plus 3 thirds plus 1 third, which also equals 2 and 1 third.